module 20 professional buyers work center by the end of this module you'll be able to understand the business benefits of professional buyers work center understand the requisitions in professional buyers work center then i will take you through how to go about creating a purchase order and agreements in professional buyers work center basically a professional buyers work center which is also called as buyers work center or pbwc is based on a web based user interface which is a central desktop from which buyers can efficiently perform their daily tasks such as viewing and acting upon requisition demand creating and modifying orders and agreements and initiating negotiations if oracle sourcing is licensed and implemented and managing the supply base so before i go into further features of professional buyers work center i think uh, let's switch on to oracle applications so so we'll start with the first topic of introduction and business benefits of professional buyers work center so i'll just minimize this and let's go to oracle applications now to see the professional buyers work center which is a new feature in release 12i of oracle e-business suite you should navigate to purchasing super user responsibility and then go to buyers work center and then you can click any of these functions to reach the buyers work center so either you can click on requisitions or orders it's like a workbench which has got different tabs for each of these functions which are listed out here so i'll just list i'll just click on requisitions so as you see all those functions which are listed out there are nothing but the tabs over here okay so the whole of this what you see over here is what you call as professional buyers work center now in terms of the features you can access requisition demand in demand workbench so what you see over here this under requisition you can see something like a demand workbench so you can basically view all your open requisitions as demand and this is what you call as demand workbench okay and then from here uh, using these documents from the demand workbench you can create purchasing documents so as you see on the right hand side you've got something called as a document builder over here so you can simply go and choose the type of document you would like to create so for example uh, let's first see whether we have any uh, purchasing document uh, purchasing requisitions or not looks like we don't have uh, any purchasing open purchasing requisitions so what you can really do it is if there were any purchasing documents okay yeah that's where we are so let's see if we have got any no we don't have purchasing requisitions at the moment so what we'll do is we'll go to i, uh, I procurement and then we'll quickly create a requisition and then we'll come back to this and then we can leverage the feature of document builder so that i'm going to show you a little while later in the next movie wherein i'm going to talk about all about requisitions so in summary that's the feature around requisitions so as i showing you here you can choose basically when you hit the go button it will list down all the requisitions over here you can select them and then you can choose the type means what's the outcome of that requisition so all the selected requisition lines you can club together as a part of a purchase order or an auction or an rfq okay and so on right so that's one of the features then as i said uh, you can use this uh, uh, you know professional buyers work center if you go on to the second tab orders you can use the features here to create a new purchase order you can create a purchase agreement here or you can uh, create a contract purchase agreement uh, using this place okay so all you've got to do it is you know as you see over here on the right hand side create if you click on this you've got more options over here so you can basically choose the outcome of the document that you want to create so as you see you you've got standard purchase order contract purchase order or complex services PO. you can add this to uh, further document styles over here which could include a blanket purchase agreement okay then uh, that's that's for the order step but if you go to the agreement step that's where you can create the agreements uh, for example here you see you can create the blanket purchase agreement over here so this order step is uh, 
particularly constraints to the type different types of orders agreements is a uh, constraint to the blanket purchase agreements or any other type of agreement of document styles that you have defined which could include agreement for complex services uh, purchase agreement or it could include a contract purchase agreement or what you also call as a cpa okay so and then when you come to deliverables here in the deliverables those uh, Let's just wait for this one. Yeah. So in deliverable, sometimes what happens is with the contracts that you define in purchasing or procurement contracts module, you associate certain deliverables with the contracts and those deliverables can be listed out over here. And then you can take actions against those deliverables. Basically, it's like a deliverable workbench, which as you could see over here, it will show you what's the deliverable name, what's the deliverable type and the document number or party name contact what's the due date of the deliverable and what's the status okay as an example let's say if supplier has to um, uh, submit a proof of insurance as a part of fulfilling the purchase contract then that you can define it as a deliverable and you can say that supplier must submit the proof of insurance within two weeks of signing the contract and that deliverable will be in open status and once the supplier submits it then the deliverable status will be updated to show that supplier has submitted that deliverable and all that you can basically see it over here so that's the concept of deliverables then you come to negotiations negotiations this tab can be seen when you have implemented and license oracle sourcing so all the negotiations that you have defined in oracle sourcing which would include rfqs or request for quotations or rfis that can be listed over here so as you see over here uh, you can you can uh, basically query your existing negotiations which is this place wherein you can see or if you have given access to the current user then this user can also create sourcing negotiations which could be rfi rfqs auctions or uh, different types of uh, rfqs within that say for example one step rfq or a two step rfq or so on okay depending on whatever uh, functions uh, access has been given to the current user he can play around with the sourcing related no negotiations over here which could also include uh, you know uh, things uh, uh, which are required as a part of sourcing such as you know like events or contract deliverables or sourcing deliverables or it could include you know um, uh, templates or uh, reusable lists such as you know supplier invitation list or you know rfq attributes or requirement list or cost factor list and so on <clears throat> so that's basically you can do it as a part of negotiation tab then finally in the supplier tab you can basically create and maintain your supplier information over here so as you see again it depends on your the functions which is assigned to this user okay you can also integrate or you can also assign uh, functions to the user that this uh, through this uh, module basically he can create a new rfi for inviting suppliers to come on board and then run the complete supplier lifecycle management again those functions will be available if you have implemented and licensed supplier lifecycle management module in uh, in conjunction with purchasing module okay so all that you can see over here so as you see you can create a new supplier you can register a new supplier you can enable some existing suppliers or the suppliers that are disabled and then you can make searches using the suppliers or you can send notifications to the suppliers from here so as you see uh, all the to-do list relation to suppliers are on the right hand side so these are basically the different features of procurement uh, or professional buyers work center but there are a couple of more that i would like to um, emphasize over here so the one that i would like to emphasize here is the one which we were looking at in this orders tab over here uh, in terms of complex services PO. So this complex services PO options will be available only when you have licensed and implemented Oracle services procurement. Likewise, the concept of deliverables or attaching contracts to uh, you know, purchasing documents, that can be implemented only when you have licensed and uh, implemented Oracle procurement contracts 
in uh, in your uh, e-business suite instance all right now last but not the least what you can also do it is you can also define or personalize views for example what you see over here is a standard view which is like my incomplete orders likewise there are a number of other standard views like my open orders but you can always personalize those views by adding the fields or you know uh, by taking off the fields which you don't want which is uh, uh, you know again could be based on your organization's policies or could be based on your personal uh, choice of how you want to view the things on the dashboard so that's in a nutshell what you call as a professional spire work center in purchasing module